right, what's up, everybody? We are back with the fifth rendition, I believe, of our um, Road to 3000 Puzzle Challenge. Um, we're doing five each video. Um, this is my first time filming one of these in the morning, so we're waking up a little bit. But uh, we're currently sitting at 29.16. Do five puzzles, no more, no less. Um, we're on a nice little five puzzles correct in a row streak from the last video. Um, so hopefully we can keep that going. Number one here. Make sure everything's running okay there. What do we have? So obviously we can take... I don't feel like I'm gaining a ton with that. Wondering if maybe it's Rook C1. Looks good. With the point being that after the queen sidesteps, then we take, I guess they really don't have to push that. That may not be as good as I thought. Rook c1, queen here. Could always take and then take. Queen. Let's run through that. Rook c1. If the queen goes anywhere else, we're taking with check for free and taking the rook. Queen sidesteps here. That's going to fall into this same thing. So these are the only options, really, to stay covered on this pawn. We could always take after the fact. Here, here, loses the knight. And if the queen comes here and I take, there's no king up. Queen has to take there. Rook takes with check. And then we're winning the knight the next move after rook c1's turn. So, rook c1, it looks like queen v6 is the only move. Anything else is going to lose the knight. Queen b6 with the point being that after takes queen b or king b7. So rook c1, queen here. My thought was we temporarily sack the exchange. Queen takes. Knight comes in. Black has no killer checks there. Queen probably needs to come somewhere where it can cover the rook. So let's say queen here. Takes, takes, and then we take the rook at the end. That feels pretty forcing, unless there's a move that I'm missing. So rook c1, queen b6, rook takes knight, queen takes knight e5. Again, the queen has to cover the rook. And ideally, they're covering this pawn as well. Because if they do something like queen e4, then we just take, and then we take the rook. And if queen d5, then it's the same thing, actually. Then we just take the pawn. Um, the queen doesn't have to take. They're losing the rookie the way if queen takes, rook takes with check, king back, and then we take the rook at the end. Okay, I think this is the move. Queen b6. Mm, doesn't like the sack. I was feeling pretty good about that. That was the first puzzle I think I've done that was over 3,000 rated. Why not rook c6? It just wants us to take the pawn. And then take the knight at the end. What did I not like about that? Oh. I thought that this was good. Or you can't black go king b7. Just because the queen is pinned. Oh, that's what I missed. This is what I initially looked at. I thought king b7 here was fine. But it's not because the queen is pinned. So you can just take queen c6 with check. 
and you're winning the night. And then you could always jump in 95 after the fact. But yeah, so queen has to take, and then we can take the knight. All right. 0 for 1 so far. It's all right. Um, okay, number 2. Still recording, which is great. Love to see it. Got a few different checks. I don't know if they're amounting to a ton at the moment, but they do exist. Maybe c7, d takes c7 first is correct. King steps up. It feels like on any of these, the king comes here, and I'm immediately just out of good checks. So I don't think that's it. So let's look at d takes c7. King has to step up. Queen d4. Think that's any better here queen d4 let's say king steps back here i guess just to take the rook at the end is that the idea it doesn't feel very good because we're obviously also going to lose our rook in the process thankfully these are all covered so after queen here they have no more takes but no more captures here King steps over, queen covers that. After queen takes, we would maybe have this temporarily. I don't see anything that looks better. <sighs> kind of a similar issue to the last puzzle. Decent chance I'm missing something. I think this is a starter, for sure. And then the other checks look great. Queen covers that score currently. Nor do I. <laughs> yeah. And I actually think that. The queen is going to struggle to take. So let's say I go check here, take the rook. Queen c1, step up. And really, queen has to go back. And then I can go king d1. And it looks like I'm safe enough there for at least a move. Black runs out of checks. So here we take the rook, threatening the bishop if the king doesn't go to one of these squares. And always threatening to come back here to play checks. If queen here, let's just look at that real quick. Let's say king goes here, queen takes, queen takes, bishop b5. That's not going to be mate, but it is not bad either. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this. King here. Okay, so before I just blindly take the rook, is that good? It's not quite mate, but it looks pretty close. I just don't see that amounting to anything, which I don't love. Is there anything to play like this? I don't think so. Doesn't feel like I'm gaining much there. So now, I guess I can always come back here and play check. 
But what am I gaining other than that? So queen e4. I'm opening up these squares. Which I don't think is gaining me much. Material is currently equal. Everything else kind of looks like trades. It's just taking the rook after king c6 doesn't feel like that was necessarily the right move. Let me uh, turn that fan off. All right, feels like I should have something better here. I don't know what. Bishop b4, king b5, and then what? What's the follow-up? c4? Check. He's got a few options at that point <laughs> to calculate out. Maybe that's worthwhile. Check. Let's say king here. Check again. Oh, actually, I see. I'm, I think I'm winning the queen here. That's the point and check, and then I just pick up the queen next one. Yeah. That took me too long to find. <clears throat> Way too long. Um, so bishop check here, king steps up, c4 check. And then regardless of where the king goes, we take the queen. All right. Kind of poorly worked my way through that one, but we got there. All right, we got, got the rooks, we got a bishop. What else do we got? Let's say push. Rook here. Take, take, take. King takes at the end and I'm not winning anything. Okay, so I don't think it's this. Let's start with check. King steps up. Check. King steps here. And then push. And then check, check. Takes, I have that covered momentarily. After h2, it feels like I'm like I'm just promoting. And am I avoid? Am I avoiding getting mated? Let's say rook f2. White plays rook f2. I'm trying to double up on f8 and force the queen. Now my bishop would cover f2 there. That feels like the right idea. Go rook d1 and then bishop g1. Force the king out, push the pawn. Anything better? Yep, I don't think there's something better. Are you going to play another check? For what purpose? Uh, let's go analyze that one real quick.
just out of curiosity. Check here. Do the analysis on here. So if I go H2, that is not winning because look at fate, rook takes, pawn takes, king takes, king g2. And king g2 just holds it together. Okay. And so by giving the check, I'm preventing the king from running back. All right. All right. <clears throat> One for three, two more. Let's end on a good note here. I wonder if there's something to like queen h3. I don't know why I was immediately drawn to that. I feel like I shouldn't have been. Let's say queen h3, f3. check the king runs here and that doesn't really work okay or king h3 f3 we just take the bishop king queen h3 if pawn takes rook takes doesn't really work they can block lots of different ways okay not queen h3 I want the trade. I'm struggling to find options that even look good here. Hmm. Not really any loose pieces. Oh, oh. King has to take, check here, pawn is pinned, and then mate. Yeah. Okay. Took me a second there. We found it. All right, 29.12. I was at 29.16 when we started. So this is going to be our last puzzle here. Mm, this is an interesting one, so why not just take the bishop? Or take the knight, excuse me. I can't find a single good reason to not just take the knight. They take the rook. I take the bishop with check. I'm up two pieces for the rook, which is great. I don't have any discoveries that are forcing, necessarily. Bishop there, we just take... Say bishop takes the pawn... Got options there. I could almost do this with check and then take the rook and just trade. And I'm up multiple pieces at the end and then could also take the bishop. I don't see what, what could possibly be bad about that. Which I feel like is the issue. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like I should see what's bad about that. It feels a little too obvious. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'll just move the king. And I guess what? The point is that right now I'm up, or we're equal material. So how am I gaining more material? That's maybe the question. I wonder if that's good. Here, take, take. I'm trying to threaten mate. Looks annoying for white, but maybe not quite annoying enough. I 
if there was anything to this. But after bishop takes, check, bishop steps up. I don't think so. Maybe we'll look at it one more time. So if rook f1 and rook takes, we take with check. King steps to the light squares. We're pushing here with check. If king here, I don't, I don't think rook f1. What else? What else? I wonder what if I just drop the rook back? No, no matter where that bishop goes. If the bishop goes anywhere other than f2, after it moves, I'm playing this check, which looks like it should be really good. But like, what's the difference between these moves? Which makes me think that they're not right. Maybe there's a more forcing way to go about it. I don't know. Let's say I go rook back to a spot where it can be attacked. Check. I just wouldn't even care about the rook there. Because I'm threatening mate. Let's say I go back and the bishop steps here. What's my move? Here. Trying to attack the bishop. Man. It seemed quite easy at first, but I was definitely not thinking about the follow up. Do I need to move the rook? I guess is the other valid question. Is that going to just be better? I don't think so. I'm almost wondering like on d4, bishop takes, if I go queen d5, definitely doesn't work. <laughs> Does not work, okay. <sighs> hmm, I cannot find a good option. It feels like I should just be able to move the rook anywhere and have a nice position, but it's generally not how puzzles work. And knowing that, I know that that's not a correct assumption. Rook drops back. This rook can't move. Bishop would be hanging. Rook here, pawn push. So maybe what's the difference between these two? Rook f8, the bishop can attack it. I am playing a check there. And then doing this to threaten mate. So let's say rook f8. Bishop c5, queen check. King steps here. d4.
between here. I'm just going to go for this, I think. It is that. And Really? So I looked at this. I assumed that after that, the point was going to be to try to get up on the di get on the diagonal. But bishop b4 obviously stops that. Stops that. But the point here is that you just take. And I guess white has absolutely no way to stop checkmate from the queen and bishop, or at a minimum to lose material. That's crazy. Wow, just d4. Sack the rook and say, what are you going to do next? Let's analyze this one to finish off. Only two out of five there. Not great compared to the last session. We stayed above 2,900 at least. I think we did, right? We'll go look at that after. Um... What was um, White's move? They went bishop here. And then we take, king steps up, d4. Bishop takes, queen takes. Bishop e4 it says is white's best move. So let's say I go here, or white goes here. Queen g3, king steps. And queen takes h3 check, and then we're mating. Wow. Should look at that one a little bit more closely. I looked at d4 and just assumed that it was bad. Did not cross my mind to just sack here and assume that, not even assume, I mean, you could obviously calculate that out. Maybe it's a morning thing, I didn't want to calculate it out, but. Like on this. Yeah. All right. I'm bought in. Should have found that one. Um, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Two out of five. Let's go see real quick how much I'm okay. Still 2,900. So we lost 14 points that, that video. Um, hopefully we gain them back in the next one. Definitely got to find the follow-ups in a lot of these puzzles. Um, I think I'm finding the first move, but the, uh, the second and third moves are the ones that got me this video. So Oh well, um, that'll wrap it up for Road to 3000 in chess.com puzzles rating um, number five. Back with number six pretty soon. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.